All right, I'd like to now call on our state representative from West Coweta and Noonan, Representative Lynn Smith. Good morning, everyone. It's great to see such a wonderful turnout, to see people from all over our county, to give up a Saturday morning. And um, to me, that is what voting is all about. Several years ago, in 2001, I was selected be, to be part of a planning team for Georgia's 250th anniversary of elected government. And you stop and you think about that. That's back when George II started Georgia. And um, we held our meeting in Milledgeville, a ceremonial meeting there. But the whole point of representative government and the voices of the people in a way can be described in what was a ceremony that took place way back then, and it was a ceremonial mace. And just think again what period of history we're talking about. And so your trustees walked in and put down the mace, which is a medieval weapon, and um, the point being that from that point forward, our government would be a government of, of words, of intelligence, of engagement, of involvement, but not of physical weapons. That was the hope. It was a new idea. It was the hope for the United States. It was the hope for Georgia. So now this is our 265th year of elected government. And I'm here to tell you it's not perfect. <laughs> it, it is not. But it beats everything else that is out there. And I think you must share that idea or why are you here? Why are you trying to learn about the issues? Why are you trying to learn about what's going on and who your candidates are and, and delving in and studying your issues? Our democracy is gonna succeed because we're willing to learn, we're willing to listen, and then we're willing to lead. And that was my message when I ran for office years ago, back in 1996. It's still my message today. I want to learn what we need to learn. I want to listen, that's how I learn. And then I want to be a composite of how we think in this part of our state and what is good for the state of Georgia. And so I thank you. So many of you contact me and I can take what you tell me and balance it with everything else I hear. I see myself as a citizen legislator. I see myself as a servant legislator. I am a product of this community. I was born in Florida, married and moved here. My husband was fighting in Vietnam. I was teaching at Noonan High School. Then I was teaching at the integrated system of the Coweta County School System. I've lived through those years, but I've always felt that this community pulls together and finds the strength and knowledge we need to succeed. That is what I see in this part of our state, and it makes us very strong. It makes our voice very strong in Atlanta, and it earns us respect in Atlanta as we're trying to speak for our issues. I've always been a Republican. I helped support Bo Ginn, if anybody remembers that. I was with Callaway. I was there with Neil Shepard when the Republican Party gained its first elected Republican person in Coweta County. I was Pope Jones' campaign manager. I have lived and fought more for the rights, if, of anything, of fiscal responsibility, of responsibility of our faith and our family, and the responsibility of the individual. And in my role now as Chair of Natural Resources, what I'm worried about, and I see coming out of Washington, and sometimes I see it in our state policies, is that well-intended phrasing of things captures a lot of people and leads them in a direction that is really not good. I, I'm saying here to tell you that if we're trying to save this or trying to save that, a lot of times these well-intended people are saving it with our property and our money. And so my job is to fight EPA. My job is to fight bad legislation in Georgia that will take away private property rights. There is a bill right now. There, there is a bill right now in Georgia that wants to protect everything everywhere. I won't go into what it is. And I'm sitting there going, all right, you're framing it in a way that makes people want to do it, but what you're not telling people, what you're not telling people is in this protection, you are taking land away from each individual property owner who shares that land, and guess what? Our state government says it has to be removed, it has to be considered by the tax assessor. It is not a known law, and I'm out here to tell you, 
if all of a sudden you have property that is buildable and you've got buffers that have taken away half your property, right, you go find that tax assessor and you say, I'm not paying this tax. This is the state law. This is what protects me. So you see now where I stand in the battles I fight. I'm a citizen legislator. We come together as a unit on the House floor when the bills hit the floor, but we individually have our own areas that we are trying to be specialists and knowledgeable in. And I'll be the first to admit, I'm still a student, I'm still learning, but I'm always willing to fight. And right now, don't forget your private property rights can easily be taken away from you. I need to hear from you if you're running into any of those problems as well. Thank you.